Uh, so this video will, in will show you how to install the BL Touch. So you have the old extruder. So first take off the, the sensor, inductive sensor. So you can lose, lose it by a one of wrench. I already lose it before, so it's easy to take it off. So we will use this uh, inductive sensor as a screw to lock the sensor uh, interchange uh, bar. So first we mount this onto this uh, interchange bar. You have, there are two of the M3 by five millimeter screw, so tight it. By this way, the BL touch will attach to this interchange bar. Okay, so we will mount this onto the, fir the former hole this way. Some people may ask if we do not have the interchange bar. It's okay, we will upload uh, it onto the thing givers so you can download or you can check our website wanghao.store to download the STL file. Then you put back the inductive sensor and lock it. Make sure a little bit tight so it will not move. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we have plugging the cable first because it's uh, it's too it's too narrow, no, not enough space. If we do not uh, invert the cable first, so we invert the cable. Oh, there are two side. One one side is uh, a little bit smaller, which is uh, up to the. BL touch, one side is a little bit bigger. So invert the five pin into the socket. So like this, okay. So then we amount it onto the extruder. It don't don't have to be very much lower. Just to, yeah. So it's very tight now. The bio touch is here. Then invert the bio touch cable into the split board. Make sure you put it into the correct direction. On the side there is a raised area, so you can match it to the socket. If not, you cannot invert it. You may use a hex wrench to help a little bit. Mm, sorry, I think it's right, it's right direction. It's uh, uh, actually, it's a little bit tight, but it will secure very well. Okay, can you see? It's uh, very tightly attached to the socket. Thank you for your watching.